Okay, today I'm reviewing a 20 inch Zaza and Saatchi board. Uh, price on Gavin and Village is 1200 uh, shipping included. But if you look around, for example, on Newegg, I was able to find it for 1040 with shipping. So that's a significant savings if you want to look around. They don't offer all of the uh, boards on Newegg that they have in Gavin Village, but they have a couple. Okay, first thing is, <clears throat> I'm going to list the positives. Positives, it's all leather. Dice cups are leather. Uh, each one of them has a different uh, patch in the, at the bottom that's also leather. The noise that the uh, <clears throat> dice cups make, very pleasing, almost like a drum, drum-like. Um, now, one thing on the points, some of them are Dolaro leather and some of them are just smooth, regular leather. Um, okay. Other positives, it's not too heavy, it's lightweight. Checker size is one and a half, so a little on the smaller size, but you know, not not the ideal size for tournament. You know, for a chouette or casual games or your local club, it's not bad at all. Now, I was a little hesitant to purchase this one because of the bright orange color that was on the uh, pictures, but I don't know if it shows up as bright or not on the camera, but. It's not very bright, um, so it's not gonna bother your eyes or anything. You know, it helps that the field surface is black. <clears throat> okay, other positives, the checkers glide smoothly all throughout, you know. There is a member in, on our, in our club that has a uh, uh, Roberto Sachs, I think that's the brand, it's from Paris. And her checkers are very hard to slide across her board for some reason. And that's a little surprising to me, paying uh, over $1,200 for the Roberto Sachs boards. But I have no problems with this one. Um, other positives, you know, you're gonna get a lot of compliments. You know, it doesn't take a, you know, someone have a good eye to notice it's a nice quality board. All right, now on to the negatives. A huge negative on this board is the doubling cube. Now I know for a, I mean, I can just tell this doubling cube, it's barely a half an inch big, uh, doesn't match the uh, quality of the rest of the material and pieces of the board. Um, after three uses at my local club, the uh, number is already fading. So this is pretty, this is a, the, a sorry excuse for a board. Now, I mean, you don't even get this type of cube with a $300 board, so much less a $1,200 board. So um, I had to purchase a cube that would match this, you know, this board. And I was able to get this cube uh, directly from Carol Joy in the Vegas Open this past weekend. Uh, it's from Cat Gammon. Uh, nice hefty board, I mean cube, uh, you know, it's much better than this sorry excuse, okay? Other negatives is, well, there's no negatives on the shipping, but the packaging I had an issue with. The way they ship the checkers is they put them in some kind of a tissue paper and then they just stack them all up like this, you know, all 15. And then they use regular scotch tape to just wrap them with. So when you take off the scotch tape, you'll get residue from the tape on your checkers. So, and then you gotta go ahead and use glue off or goo gone or whatever the hell you use to get the, the uh, you know, the tape residue off, which was a big annoyance. You know, I don't know why they do that. Just keep them in the tissue paper or just leave them inside the board. Um, let's see. Other negative. It didn't happen with this board, but I have another friend from the club who ordered the same 20 inch different color, but their checkers, their, there was one checker that was sort of deformed um, in the middle. 
and I also purchased a sorry a 15 inch Zaza and Saatchi board and two of the checkers were deformed as well so when I purchased this board I was a little worried that I was going to get a deformed checker but Gavin Village is all is very good about you know issuing you a checker right away uh, so there was you know it's just more of an annoyance than anything because now you have to wait for a for a checker uh, you do get precision dice with the board but they ship that separately from Canada so if you don't have any precision dice you're gonna have to wait another week in order to get them or else you'll get the uh, regular non-precision dice uh, these dice were not the ones that came with the board they come with the uh, transparent precision dice which not a lot of people care for uh, especially the older players because they have trouble seeing the uh, the numbers so I bought myself some uh, solid color dice okay okay also uh, you do not get any type of case you do not get a scoreboard uh, not many extras that other companies throw in um, there's a little Sasa and Saatchi logo stamped on the cups um, cups are really nice um, like I said I like the feel of the cups they're not too tall they come out of your hand pretty uh, smoothly okay they might make a nice pleasing sound um, one thing I noticed is that the uh, I'll do a separate review for the 15 inch but like I've said the orange points on this one are Dolaro the other ones are not and on the 15 inch they're all smooth so the only Dolaro comes from the board itself not anything inside the field okay I'm gonna pause the video and do some close-ups I know uh, well is everybody get a tripod now so I will do close-ups and then I'll roll a few um, numbers and then I'll show you the uh, cover I was able to uh, have made so when I'm playing I put this underneath and then I'm done you know I have a nice sort of case to put it in all right I'll go ahead and pause it I'll do a close-up okay so here are here is the close-up of the board as you can see the orange are made from dolaro leather and the white is just you know your regular smooth type of le leather okay here's a close-up of the dice cup okay very nice dice cups Like I said, it's not too bright, you know. It's a nice, unique color, orange. Uh, does have one handle on each end. So, if you use a baffle box, um, don't know how, if you're gonna have a hard time setting it up, because usually only one side has a handle. Okay, and then I'll show you a close-up of this. Fisher Price, I mean, low quality doubling cube. <clears throat> you know, and if you complain to them, I had a friend complain to them about the doubling cube, and it's, all they said was, well, that's how the board comes. So, okay, so I'll roll a few rolls, and then that'll conclude the review. Okay, I gotta set this up again because apparently I wasn't recording all of these rolls. So let me go back. Oops. Alright, let's go quickly, quickly. Alright, four deuce for white. If 
a deuce. Five. Bring one down. A deuce. Five tray. White. So I make two points here. Six five. Three one. Hmm. Easy peasy here. All right, Orange has to roll well, or else he's gonna have an appointment with the cube. Five one does not perform. So I'm gonna go five. And the one step up. And of course. This would be a cube, and uh, this will be a drop. All right, thanks for watching.